Rodriguez was born here in the United States, making her eligible to play for the U.S. women's team. But that Mexican pride, ese orgullo mexicano, led her to be a starter for the Mexican team. Judo is a sport that is extremely demanding for the body, but can be useful in certain situations. With just a few adjustments, a simple thrust from the body can make one heck of a difference. Of all the Hall of Fame players, and there were a lot, that have come and gone through OKC, Russ was the one player who embraced the city the most. ¿Y crees que golf puede ser un deporte que más, no nomás mexicanos, pero latinos pueden apoyar y jugar en el futuro? You would think that it's easy to score in soccer, especially considering the fact that the goal is this tall and definitely a lot wider. But for the Cowgirls' opponents, that couldn't be further from the truth. Oklahoma is not known for its scenic views. It's dry, flat, and windy, which is something that most recruits from overseas don't really find appealing. But coach Chris Young says there's one thing here in Stillwater that can attract any recruit in the world, and that is the Mike and Ann Greenwood Tennis Center. What do you make of the contract situation with Ezekiel Elliott? Do you think they'll get it resolved in time to play some football games? Hmm, this sounds like a very familiar song to me. A Dallas Cowboys player who is either holding out or suspended. Ezekiel Elliott has, <laughs> has at least done both. Yeah, I wasn't really the best at fishing. I think the biggest fish I ever caught was uh, Yay Big. Combat sports combines intense fitness training with skills useful for self-defense. But there is one sport taught at the OSU Colvin Recreational Center that is different from all the rest. Unlike the popular punching and kicking, judo focuses on using your entire form to flip your opponent, a skill that requires an insane amount of discipline. No matter what the intention is, discipline in the form of exercise can be helpful. I think um, the idea of learning how to defend yourself, learning how to control your own body, uh, learning the discipline required to be able to do these things is super beneficial for everyone regardless of whether you think you should use it to fight people or not. Judo is a sport that is extremely demanding for the body but can be useful in certain situations. With just a few adjustments, a simple thrust from the body can make one heck of a difference. That being said, there are a number of benefits despite the physical toll. When practiced correctly, judo can be a way to learn valuable life lessons, some of which can build someone up both physically and mentally. I was a really shy kid in high school, and then moving up here and doing this and being more comfortable with myself and my skills has made me a lot more confident. Those mental benefits couldn't be achieved without help. Much like other sports, the relationship between student and teacher is an unbreakable bond. Whether it's on or off the mat, instructor John Bernal sees everyone who walks into his class, not just as students, but as friends. At least here, I feel like we're more like a family. Uh, we hang out outside of judo, and uh, especially when we go to judo tournaments, there's a huge bonding there. Regardless of the stereotypes of combat sports, Bernal and his students are making a positive impact, not just for judo, but also for themselves. For Orange Nation Sports, I'm John Resendez. Oklahoma is not the first place people look at when finding a new place to call home. And yet, the OSU women's tennis team is full of players whose original home looks nothing like the Sooner State. Players like Lisa Marie Rue, a Japanese international player, makes a decision to go from the tropical climate of Okinawa, Japan, to Stillwater, Oklahoma. And she's not alone. Thai international Bunyawi Tanchaiwat and Ru's fellow Japanese international Ayumi Miyamoto are both players from countries that are geographically and culturally polar opposite from Oklahoma. But their reasoning to leave their countries is actually simple, to challenge themselves and take their tennis skills to the next level, something that Ru thinks she would not be able to do anywhere else. I really wanted to like, um, like know the level of tennis in the world. So I just decided to like change the environment, like the whole environment and see what I, like how I can do. Oklahoma is not known for its scenic views. It's dry, flat, and windy, which is something that most recruits from overseas don't really find appealing. But coach Chris Young says there's one thing here in Stillwater that can attract any recruit in the world. And that is the Mike and Ann Greenwood Tennis Center. Yeah, I mean, this facility is as good as most countries' national facilities, even America. I mean, you don't see facilities like this many anywhere in the world except for you know elite pros to train in. A good tennis program isn't the only thing that international recruits are looking for when picking schools. Since they are moving miles from home, players like Rue and Miyamoto 
are also looking for what they hope to be their home away from home. No matter how hard it is adjusting to a new environment and even a new language, Young always reassures them that they're not alone. That, that's what makes our team close, is because all of them are kind of going through that same thing together. And uh, when new girls come in, we really try to embrace them. We really try to be a family. Stillwater may not be a place where these players are accustomed to living in, but something that they can all agree on is, for now, their home. For the Poke Report, I'm John Resendez. Now, KOCO 5 Sports. Well, we all had a feeling this was coming, and it is still just as surreal to see it with our own eyes. It is the end of an era in Oklahoma City. Russell Westbrook has officially been traded to the Houston Rockets. The trade came after the unexpected departure of Paul George. Westbrook is now the last of the Harden, KD, Russ trio to leave the Thunder. Now, you may be asking, what are the Thunder going to get back? There you see the package that Houston is sending. The Thunder will acquire two more first round picks in the 2024 and 2026, two pick swaps in 2021 and 2025, and Chris Paul. That brings the draft pick total to an insane 15 picks for the next seven years. The present may be a little bit rigid, but the future does look bright for the Thunder. Even then, this just shows you how unforgiving NBA free agency can be. Speaking of unforgiving, it really cannot get more agonizing than this for Thunder fans. James Harden and Russell Westbrook are back together again. It was reported that Russ and Harden actually contacted each other to talk about a potential reunion after the Paul George trade went down. Now the two are back together and it looks like they are going to make some serious noise in the NBA. After all, we all know what happened when these two MVPs were on the same side. While we're on the same topic of MVPs, Russell Westbrook left a legacy that no player will probably be able to replicate for the Thunder. Of all the Hall of Fame players, and there were a lot, that have come and gone through OKC, Russ was the one player who embraced the city the most. It goes without saying Westbrook made just as much, if not more of an impact off the court as he did on. But for the sake of reminiscence, it's fitting to see what he did on the hardwood. Just look at what Russell Westbrook has accomplished as a member of the Thunder. First in games, points, assists, rebounds, steals, free throws made. And do I even really need to say the last one? 138 triple doubles. The Thunder may have all those draft picks, but it is doubtful that anyone will be able to replicate that. Meanwhile, the Thunder will transition from one all-star point guard to another one. For now, Chris Paul may still be one of the best point guards in the game, but the reality is he is a 34-year-old player who wants to win more than anything else at this stage of his career. While the Thunder are looking like they're heading for a rebuild, it's likely that OKC will be more of a pit stop for Paul instead of a de destination. However, if Chris Paul starts the season with the Thunder, and that is a big, big if, it would not be the first time he puts on an OKC jersey. Paul played two seasons at OKC as a member of the Hornets while New Orleans was recovering from Hurricane Katrina. It would be pretty interesting to see him play in the city where it all started. That's all we got for a crazy day of sports. We'll be right back.